I'd like to say a few words about Lee Philip Rudofsky, the President's nominee to the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Arkansas. In a few minutes, this body will vote to move ahead with this nomination. Lee has a long and impressive resume, from Harvard Law School to the White House Office of Legal Counsel to Kirkland and Ellis and beyond. His early career and qualifications speak for themselves. And Lee is no stranger to serving Arkansans. He was our state's very first Solicitor General. Lee left a good job at Walmart to take that position and face the many challenges that come with it. He also moved three hours from his loving wife and three young kids to work around the clock for the people of Arkansas. That hard work paid off for all of us. According to esteemed members of Arkansas's legal community from both parties, Lee, quote, established the Arkansas Solicitor General's Office as one of the finest legal practices in the state of Arkansas, end quote. He has subsequently become a respected professor and recruiter at one of our state's two law schools. And Lee is also a leader at his local synagogue and a member of the local chapter, the American Ends of Court. After the Senate votes to confirm him later this week, Lee will draw from this deep well of experience as he continues to serve the people of Arkansas with devotion and distinction. He will bring to the bench his intelligence, character, and above all, a commitment to the rule of law and the administration of equal justice under the law. I was honored to introduce Lee before the Judiciary Committee earlier this year. I am now honored again to speak on his behalf today. Lee is an exceptional selection for the federal bench. I'm happy to call him a friend, and soon I look forward to calling him a judge. Mr. President, I yield the floor.